So for hip flexion, you're gonna have your patient bring her knee up to your hand. And since she can do hip flexion, that's at least a three. And what you're gonna do to test her is to stabilize the opposite hip and have her do the same motion and don't let her and push down and don't let her bring her leg down. And that would be a five or a four. And for gravity eliminated, four or two, if she couldn't do that motion, you would have her lie on her side. And four or two, you will bring her hip into flexion. And for a two plus, you would provide resistance on that. All right, Matt, I want you to do, see if you can do this action there. You're welcome to stay seated. But I want you to bring your heel up like this onto, towards your knee. Can you do that action? Super duper, you can do that action. All right, so I'm going to have you come slightly down out of that. And I'm going to try to break you out of this position. So what we're going to do is try to push in out of external rotation and abduction and then try to extend. Ready? Don't let me break you. Okay. Very good. All right, Matt. So we're going to test this here in Gravity Eliminated. So can you put this heel on top of the t your other ankle and bring that heel towards your knee? That's great, and he's got full range there, so that would definitely be a two. So for hip extension, what you're going to have her do is lie prone, and you're going to have her lift her entire leg up, and if she can do that, great, that's a three. And to test that, you're going to stabilize her opposite hip, have her bring her leg up, and at the distal ankle, push down, and that is a four or five. Now, for if she could not do that motion, you're going to have her lie on her side, so, so for two, you are going to guide their leg back into extension. And providing resistance will give them a two plus. So to test hip extension but isolating the glutes, what you're going to have her do is similar to a hip extension, you're going to have her bend her knee. And what you're going to do is help the patient bring their leg up from the table. So if you do that, good, so that's at least a three. Now to test that, you're going to do the same thing, provide stabilization of the opposite hip, push down, Good. Now, so for a two, you're going to have her knee bent and guide her back into extension. And for a two plus, you'll provide some resistance to that. So for hip abduction, you're going to position them in sideline and have the patient lift their leg straight up. And now to test that, you're going to be stabilizing the iliac crest. And you're going to have them lift up and at the knee, you will be pushing down. Good. For two, for hip abduction, you're going to have her do a snow angel. Just like that. For hip adduction, you will have them position like this. You will have the patient bring their leg straight off off the table into adduction. To test them, you're going to stabilize at the iliac crest and just above the knee, and you will push down. Good. And for gravity eliminated, it's the same thing as eight hip abduction, you'll have them into snow angel and bring their leg in. So for hip internal rotation, you will have your patient bring their ankle out and you will apply pressure at the distal ankle and push them in. So for two, for hip internal rotation, you will have them lie supine, bring their foot out and have them roll in. So for hip external rotation, you will have the patient bring their ankle in, good, and you will apply pressure in the inside ankle and push out. So for a two for hip external rotation, you will bring the patient in to internal rotation, have them roll their ankle or their hip out. Okay, so in this position we are testing um, collective knee flexion. So to begin, you will have your patient in prone position and you will have them see if they can flex their knee and bring their foot to their butt. Okay, and then to test this, okay, so that's at least a three. And then to test this for a four or five, you will have them come into this position, stabilize at the iliac crest on the same side, and place resistance on the ankle, and you want to explain to them not to break this position. So I'm going to apply pressure and don't let me break you. Good. And so for a two for this position, you will just have them sideline and you will guide their leg back into knee flexion. And for a two plus, you can add resistance. Okay, 
so in this position, you are doing the same thing with knee flexion, but this time you are isolating the hamstring muscles. So in order to test this again, um, you would just have them bring their foot to their butt. So she can do it, so she's at least a three. And then for this one, to isolate the semitendinosus, you will bring the toes in, to in, and then you will have them hold that position and um, apply stabilization at the iliac crest again, and then apply resistance at the distal ankle again. So don't only break you. All right, so that's the semitendinosus. And then to test- Biceps femoris. You will point the toes out. So same thing, apply stabilization at the iliac crest, apply resistance at the distal ankle, and don't let me break you. Good. Okay, so in this position, we are going to test knee extension. So you're testing the quad muscle. And you will have the position seated and um, short sitting on the table. And you will have your stabilization behind their knee, not lower or above, just behind, right in the top of the space and you will have them um, kick your hand out like this to test if they can do it. So she's at least a three in that position. And then to test the muscle, have her kick out again. Not fully extended though. Apply resistance at the distal ankle again and push back, don't let me break you. Good, so she's at least a four. This is testing um, knee extension in a two position. So you will have your patient sideline and you will have them, you will guide their leg through knee extension. And at two plus, you could add resistance. All right, so we're going to test the gastroc and soleus. So the first thing I'd like you to do, um, as you're standing there, you may use the table for support if you need it to balance. But I'd like you to stand up on your both toes, both on your toes. And if you can do it, yes, you can. So then we can go ahead and test it. So we're going to test one at a time because with two helping, you're not going to see an accurate measure of that one lower extremity that may have been damaged. So um, I'll have you um, use, the reference will be your right leg, and I want you to see if you may hold on to the side here, and so you're gonna stand on that right leg, and I wanna see how many times without a break you can go up on your toes. And so we would count how many, and again, no break in between, straight up and down, and we would use, of course, the standard scale MMT, right? Five, four, three, two, um, et cetera. Thank you, Matt. Okay, so if we want to test the soleus, then we need to take the gas truck out of it. So then I would have him bend his knees to take the gas truck out and have him then again go up on his toes to see if he could do right full motion, which he has there. Again, we want to use one leg, so the other leg would be taken out of, and of course you can use the table for stability. And again, without a break, going up on your toes with that knee bent to take the gas truck out. Same exact scale, with 25 being max, and so forth. Thank you, Matt. All right, Matt, so we're going to test um, a couple of motions here. This is the tib anterior. I'm going to have you bring your toes up and bring them towards the inside. And I want you to hold that position. Don't let me break you out of it. So I'm going to break. I'm going to try to push down and out. Okay. Ready? All right. And that's what we have. There is no two. Okay. So in this position, we are testing the tip post here. So you will ask your patient to plantar flex and invert and you don't want them to bring their foot out of this position. So you will say, I'm applying resistance, don't let me bring your foot out and up. Okay, so on the count of three, one, two, three. Good. Okay, so for the last one, this is testing um, the peroneals on the side for eversion. So what you're going to do is you're gonna ask your patient to evert, bring their foot out, and you will be applying resistance with your back hand so you're doing all of the turning motion with your, the, heel, the hand that is at the ankle and stabilizing under the foot. So um, you will not want your patient to bring their foot in. So do not let me bring your foot in. On the count of three, one, two, three. Good.